want to be the class that gets the 253 point six so the poster stays up with your class forever. Yeah. Not of that class. You are now what? I believe they're junior. That's my sister. Well, your sister is part of them. Uh, we are looking at fractions, children. And just simply multiplying and dividing them. And there can be nothing simpler with fractions because it's almost logical. It's multiplying and dividing fractions is much simpler and easier than adding and subtracting them because you do not, I repeat, you do not, you do not need to make common denominators. You don't have to do all that changing stuff. Okay, you do not have to write up and down, or back right them across. So if you have two thirds times um, three fifths, you simply multiply across. Multiply across. Means you just go wham and wham times and times. Two times three is six, and three times five is fifteen. And of course, you always need to do what we call in the math world simplify. Divide them both by three, <coughs> and you end up with what that thing right there? two fifths. Now, is somebody going to stop me here and tell me something? which would have made my life easier. Anybody? Nobody? I can't remember if we did this last year or not. Why? Thank you for that. Um, and you, you're going to have to get used to doing this because your life will be too hard if you don't do that. When you are at the initial multiplication stage, you always want to look to see if you can reduce before you multiply. Okay, reduce before multiplying. It'll just make your life easier. We call that cross canceling. Okay, and by that, what we're doing is we're looking for common factors of tops and bottoms that you can do. Elijah said the threes. Okay, there are both threes here. So you just say to yourself, okay, if I had three over three, what could I reduce them by three? So if I divide three by three, that becomes a one. And if I divide three by three here, that becomes a one. The two of the five can't reduce or cross cancel, so bam. Look what you got. Two times one is... 2 and 1 times 5 is 5. You skip this whole having to reduce because you reduce before you multiply. And this one isn't such a big deal because it's not that hard of a problem, but when you get to really big long multiplication things, then you do. Everybody's good with that? Because that gets us to the division part of the whole scheme. Now with that, what I need you to do is take out a blank piece of paper because you just have to write something down here. Um, Thank you. 